Let's go back to the Bronx now and Lindsay Tuckman at the side of that partial building collapse with an update. Lindsay, what do we know? Mike, Charlene, it's really remarkable that no one was severely injured when this apartment building behind me here collapsed, and people here are really expressing a lot of relief about that, but now there's a lot of questions. Is my building next? It was a very old building, and there were some concerns about violations, perhaps, that are being investigated. So I do want to show you what is the situation here in the daylight. You can see it's incredible what it looks like in this building here, this seven-story apartment building where the partial collapse happened, as you can see, on the corner of the building, and there is... Uh, just flattened ceilings. There's furniture still in the building, and there's a lot of debris on the ground as well as scaffolding that you can't see from this angle. But this happened around 3:30 yesterday afternoon. Firefighters responded within less than two minutes and immediately began searching for anyone potentially buried in the rubble. They used drones, power saws, canine dogs, and even robot dogs to sift through the mounds of debris. Fortunately, by the evening, the FDNY was able to clear the debris, which was 12 feet high in some cases, and did determine that there was nobody trapped underneath. They do say that two people did suffer some minor injuries and are being treated for that during the evacuation process. Now, the, the building department is here on the scene beginning this preliminary investigation into whether there was any code violations perhaps that led to uh, the building collapsing, but we don't know at this point what it was uh, that happened. But those that we spoke to say this building was nearly 100 years old and they are certainly concerned that it could be their home next.